Rhino Nation, guess who? Hello! Yes, that's right, it's CWL time! Wow, another fantastic week. Week 10, I can't believe we're already here, but it's true, week 10. It was uh, Red Rhinos going against Packers. Rhinos at uh, six and three and Packers at five and four. Cross division match this time. Mortar division is what we were in versus the Expo division. And thanks again to the Packers for a uh, great uh, war and easy to work with. You know, this whole season has been great. So I uh, can't complain at all. Everybody in CWL has been fantastic. But let's go ahead and get down to it because this was an incredible war from everybody on our side. I've got to give a big shout out to all of the uh, guys who were planning at the end of the war. The 10s and 11s were together planning. 9s were planning the whole time as well, um, you know, at the beginning, either during chat or, or in Discord. So let's check out what happened here. War ended and victory. Look at that. And it was close too. We almost had a perfect war. Uh, our tens just absolutely killed it. And I'm gonna, I'll show the uh, stats in just a second here, but you can see we had an 84% uh, from a perfect war there. And the tens did their job. Let's go ahead and skip on over into a war match, as you can see. And it looks like I do not have it set up. So let's go ahead and dig right on into there. Week 10. Uh, ha, 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 ha. Final. Uh, look at this. Six 10v10s. Guys, just about everybody, I think, had a 10v10. And if they didn't, they were very close. Um, so we're going to go ahead and watch all of those today. Um, because there's some great attacks. You know, a lot of people are using the Falcon. Um, we, we do the Falcon at some times, but um, I, I got a, every single type of attack here, we had something different. So awesome job. Chief had an 11 v 11. Let's go ahead too and just check out our, um, of course, I'm not gonna be able to flip over now on this, but we'll go ahead and check out the other stats on the regular war. Uh, our Town Hall 9s had a 65. So they also did great, you know, and the Packers, they came out just completely flying. Look at this. Uh, you know, we, we usually start off slow with our nines just because of time zones and everything. And you can see they came out and had five right off the bat. Uh, they were using a lot of witches, mostly witch attacks. But you can see then Hunter came in, did a nice uh, attack, fresh three. And then he got another one. So uh, Hunter was one of our six packs. Let's go ahead and look from the bottom up just to make sure I don't miss anybody. So again, Hunter with two fresh uh, threes. We had Stick as well. Um, Javier, Emmy, who's been just on fire lately. Leroy and Gigi, Andre, great to have him back in the lineup. We also had, look at this, uh, I believe we had a 10v10. Yes, we did. Fear the Rabbit had a six pack 10v10, so great job. And Noink had a, a fresh 10v10, which is incredible. And again, cheap with the uh, 11v11. So I'm not gonna go ahead and get too much into the stats any more than I already did. That's probably too much already because we have a lot of war attacks to get through. Like I said, I wanna try to show as many of the 10v10s as possible. I'm only going to show one 9v9 just because of all the other uh, 10v10s that we have. So let's go ahead and start with a 9v9, right? Let's go ahead and do it. Hunter, uh, he had started on 16, but I liked his attack on number 20 better. He's been killing it with an AQ charge, uh, Lalo. So let's look at his attack here. He's going to come in with his queen walk, or start with the queen, and then he'll charge her in in a minute here. St Puts down a couple wizards to make sure that she goes over to the right there. So, wizards in free zone easily can uh, help to funnel those couple buildings. And you'll see too, the queen's going to step up here in a minute, take down that AD, and then one thing that helps her to make sure to go over is there's a Tesla that's going to pop. Let's see. Is it coming? Yep. Okay. Wanted to make sure I knew the right. Uh, <laughs> right recap I'm doing and then he goes ahead and sits down his king tries to clear all those buildings and he wants the king to go over there by that town hall too because let's see is it pretty well free yeah pretty well free over there so he's gonna be able to go for a while and you can see here comes the CC troops 
no problem there because it's not too much going on easily uh, can handle that and then he is just gonna lay in all kinds of wall breakers to try to get in there and watch this nice little corner break to open that entire junction look at this kapow in there and the king still doing good he probably didn't really have to use his ability yet but uh, he went ahead and did it just so that he could clear out all those buildings to make sure that the queen uh, doesn't go over there she has been known to just uh, do some crazy stuff so here she comes coming in uh, gonna easily take down the enemy queen and you can see already took down an expo it's gonna have access to another expo and whiz towers so he is loving life right now uh, looks like a couple Sams came out and uh, were taken down uh, and another one there's another and another one so he knows the Sams are done he is sending in his loons. One hound has already popped, but that's okay. He's got all of his cleanup minions down. He's got two haste to help get those loons. And look at the pathing uh, for the loons. Easily can come right across there. Has one hound left, and you see the Tesla's popped. His king just killed it over there. Uh, and he still has two rages, which I don't think he's going to need. It doesn't look like it. Let's go ahead and speed it up. Done! Hunter with an extra wall breaker just going ahead and bringing it in and two rage spells. So, uh, it killed it, Hunter. Great job, buddy. You're doing fantastic. It's always good to have you in the lineup, Mr. Sixpacker. Okay, so like I said, I, I normally do like to show the, the nines, but we had so many 10v10s. I want to make sure that we get through um, those. Uh, because our, our guys just did a great job. I mean, 6 10 v 10 is unbelievable. So here we go. We're going to start with Roe. He is going to uh, bring in, it looks like a cold-blooded uh, Lalo. And I'm trying to remember this this plan. I believe uh, one of our nines, uh, Moak, helped with this plan. Uh, who His account is Adrum. So he, uh, he went ahead and scouted this, came up with this plan, scouted it, and... Bro, I just had, I think he just had to make a couple tweaks, if I remember right, because the uh, the funnel works out pretty well. A couple of bowlers are going to end up escaping over, but they clean up those side buildings. You'll see that in just a minute here. So he's got the jump down, coming in with the bowlers, uses his rage to go ahead and get everybody all ramped up and ready for the, uh, the kill in there. Poison's down with the dragon. They used a lot of dragons uh, in the CC, so we had uh, had that going for us to know. They actually had quite a few different CCs, but um, I, I'm just remembering several dragons. So he got some pretty good push there, and you see his queen's on the outside. That's okay. He's going to go ahead and use the ability to, to get the CC down and take down at least one or two other buildings before his loons come in. So he's got a nice... Uh, Nice direction here, and here come the loons. There they go. Soaked up the Sam right away with one loon, so that was unfortunate, but it's okay. Again, he already knows what's pretty much what's going to happen here. Great pathing right at that inferno. Only had to hit one other defense before getting there. Hay spells helping to bring all the loons in, and we're going to go ahead and start getting ready for a little fast forward just to make sure that we have enough time to get through everything. So rage spell to get through that center mess. And um, yeah, I mean, check out all the loons he has left. A ton of loons. He's got his, his cleanup down, but what are there? I don't even know how many loons, 10 loons? That's in incredible. And he has one uh, hut over there that a minion takes down and he's golden. So good job, Ro, on that hit. Again, uh, nice job planning everybody working together to get that one down coming up with a good plan all right here comes uh, dark angel looks like we're gonna get a little shattered uh, go boho action starting off with a nice little bowler bounce and yeah, licks her right into the barracks here comes another bowler bounce we're able to get part of that ad it looks like which is gonna be nice one of the uh, the golems are down Getting ready for the the uh, kill squad to go in. Nice little junction there to go ahead and break into. And he's letting his golems lead first, followed by his bowlers and his king. To make sure the king has enough time to get in there and do some damage. Rage is down. Here comes the CC. He's put his jump down and poison's in. Uh, 
Let's see. Zooming in. Queen's down. Nope, she's still fighting. Let's see. Oh, your shoe's down. Good job. Nice jump spell to make sure that they go right over to the side there. And then it leaves room for his hogs to come just around the back. They're going to go ahead and sweep around and take out that uh, Wizard Tower, Inferno, Tesla, Wizard Tower combo right in a row. Nice. As well as the skellies are coming out. He does have a poison to go ahead and handle maybe the king and the skellies. Let's see what he end up doing. Putting more hogs in. He's already started his cleanup. We always talk about that. Important to get your cleanup down quickly. And there goes the poison finally to go ahead and get down the, uh, the skellies. Because it looked like maybe another badge came out. And he also is slowing down the king. So killed it. Again, you can tell already this one's over, so nice job with that one. Can't remember if that was the second or uh, third hit on that one, but really nice job going in and getting that one taken down. Dark Angel, which is, uh, that's one of JP's accounts. All right, again, moving up. We got, a, we got a lot to get to, so let's watch for the 100, and there it is. Go up again, and this one I just want to say I'm pretty sure this was a fresh hit, or maybe it was uh, there were no stars on it. Uh, maybe it was scouted, but just uh, he got all three stars. So here he goes. Nice plan by him. Uh, again, the you know prof came up with a plan, drew it out, and everybody kind of talked through what uh, what should be done. And I like how he, he leads with a giant up there to go ahead because he, can, he should be able to get the wizard. No, the wizard didn't quite get it. Nice try. He's got some nice bowler bounces happening though. So let's see, here come, here they come. Kill squad's coming in down from the south and he has a couple wizards to make sure he takes out each of those buildings on the side. So that's really the important part of this funnel. Look at that, you got a nice little V there for the, uh, the jump to go in. So an easy funnel in that regard, just because it, it brings them right into the center. The bowlers aren't going to walk in this one. Nice little rage. Here comes another dragon. And the poison was able to hit the drag, you know, the CC troops and the queen, which is helpful. So the queen is down. Look at that. Down. <laughs> and then we've got... Uh, the golems are both taking damage from the infernos, but that's okay because they are at least able to guard that queen to take down at least a few more buildings. He's going to go ahead and, and hit her ability right away. You have to when you have that single inferno or she will just get roasted immediately. So look at this little path thing coming around. You got a nice little L shape for all the hogs to come around. He's got them rocking and rolling. He uses a heal here. And he should start getting some of his uh, cleanup troops. There we go, just as I said it. A couple cleanup troops going down right behind now that they are free. Have some uh, pesky ground skellies again. A lot of people are using ground skellies uh, because there are so many hog attacks and, and uh, falcons. So uh, you usually have to make sure you have that extra poison for those skellies. And it looks like his poison uh, missed it a little bit. The skellies anyway, but they're going to march right back in there into Deathland. Perfect. Still has a couple of hogs left. So uh, it's nice job. And I think I was on line for this one. Uh, I had a busy day yesterday, but I did see this one. Great job, Prof. Again, nice job planning all together. Has all the troops down, plenty of hogs to get down to the end. So what are we on? Is that like number three? I think that's the, the third 10v10. So let's go ahead and keep on moving it up. With number five, Thor's Hammer. Rin taking out this one. Just like I said, pretty much everybody, all of our 10s got a 10v10, which was really nice. Uh, all getting an opportunity to do that. Now look at this. HGHB. See, that's what I'm saying. We've had different attacks already, uh, which is really cool. We've had, you know, a couple hog attacks, a, a loon attack, and here comes an HGHB starting off uh, right with those... Giants and the healers, uh, a couple bowlers and wizards to help get that big heavy building down for the town hall before he sends his other troops in. And he gets that elixir storage down just in time. Look at all of the expos. And again, with the, with the uh, dragon, baby dragon alone in the CC, 
with the rage. He is going to get so much value for this kill squad, taking out all of those heavy, I mean, the Expos, and uh, as well as an Inferno. And his hogs, uh, the, you can see the Inferno is locked onto a bowler, and so the hogs have a little bit more time to get down and around there. Nice little uh, bomb action there, but no problem. He's got a heal down. Again, he's got his cleanup troops rocking and rolling already on the backside. And I do remember, uh, I, I think the hit before this one, there weren't cl quite enough cleanup troops. So that was one adjustment that we knew to go ahead and, and make on that. Killed it. Absolutely killed this one. When you have that many hogs left and troops left, you're a happy camper on a 10v10. So nice job, Rin. Good to have you uh, on board, of course. And he's got his own YouTube channel. I'll go ahead and make sure to put a, a link down below. He's got some great content. All right, uh, boy, we still have more to go. Fear the rabbit. Our six packer was the, has the last two. And again, you know, all 10 v 10s to clear the tens. So that was a nice thing to see. It gave our 11s a chance to go ahead and try a couple 11 v 11s. So you can see yet another type of attack here. He's going in with a cold blooded Lalo. And this one was hit a couple times, so uh, once or twice, I think. It was another one that we had time to scout and come up with this plan. And you can see there's a hound in the CC, so that's why he has his cleanup at the top. Not to mention he can get that, uh, he should be able to get that other AD up there. So look at all of the value he's getting for his kill squad. The king's still up. He's got some bowlers still hitting, and there it goes. The queen went ahead and took down the other AD. So you just have the one side of the base, 40% from the kill squad. And look at this action. Yes, nice idea. Go ahead and put the uh, archer over there in the corner so the hound gets stuck. He doesn't happen to accidentally uh, pop while some action is going on in the center. So just time to send in all the loons. He's got a heal, rage, three hastes to use. And oh boy, air skellies, they knew uh, something was coming. They knew air was coming, but Rin, but uh, <laughs> not Rin. Fear the Rabbit's ready for it, which actually is uh, one of Rohan's accounts. So it's over, people. Let's just go ahead and four times through. Nothing happening here. Used his spells well. I love how he placed all of his spells. And again, I, I really like the fact that they decided to go ahead send the queen around the side to get that value and Mr. Hound is CC enemy hound was still sitting over there in the corner so good job you know think about that if you're attacking to uh, to use that little strategy of having one archer to go ahead and bring over the side so let's go ahead and look at our last 10 v 10 and this one was a bear I uh, know that I went ahead and did a scout on this uh, this particular base and we were trying to get into this big middle compartment here with the AQ charge. And with the way that the buildings are, it was just a little bit tricky. And the uh, row came in, gave a little bit different um, funnel here to make sure because this gold storage right down here was really causing us problems bringing the queen down. So he decided to go ahead and make a few adjustments to get that down. But you'll see it kind of uh, somewhat backfires on him because the queen ends up going in a different direction. So my queen was, my queen and another queen, we were going down uh, another person that attacked. I don't know what I'm talking about right now. We went down this other alley and all of a sudden his queen decides to take a completely different turn than all the other previous attacks. So he had to really think on the fly here of what he was gonna do. Nice job to go ahead and get those loons in to take down that uh, that inferno before the healers get roasted because he really needs to have that queen up. And now, of course, again, too, he's got the poison down, but oh, uh, is the baby dragon gonna get the healers down? No, not quite a sliver. I mean, a sliver left. So he, uh, <laughs> he got a little bit lucky on that one. But it worked out. He's still got the darn witch to deal with, but he's going to end up getting some pretty good value now as the queen goes right through this little valley to, to uh, take down more defenses and ultimately take down the enemy queen. So he's trying to see if he can get that down because 
didn't bring a skelly for the queen. Just because of the plan, we were... The way that uh, the other attacks worked out, she, the queen was actually down a little bit south farther. So, uh, he, again, he had to really think on the fly and change his, his, his plan. But this worked out fantastic. You can see he has all of those, uh, those other buildings down. And he's got his queen down below to kind of help get, get those defenses down and to distract as well. You can see that Tesla was firing on the queen and not on the loons, so helped keep those loons up. And he has uh, his queen still up, plus he has all of the cleanup troops, so he knows he is good to go. Great job on that one. Again, awesome uh, job adjusting when your queen ended up going a different way, so good job. So that's all of our 10v10s, 1-9v9. Let's finish this off with an 11v11. We're uh, getting close on time here, but we got to get this one in with uh, Chief. He's on a roll. I don't even know how many 11v11s he's had. Maybe five so far this season. Uh, I think he's only missed on one. So let's see. There he goes. They go ahead and draw the CC troops out first. That level 50 king just doing some work, trying to uh, keep those CC troops, or at least as many of them, he was trying to keep them in the poison. Looks like the baby dragon got away, but everybody else went down. And then he's just going to go ahead and start with his queen up at the top. He used his baby dragon to funnel a little bit, and here come those crazy huge wall breakers to go into those lovely white walls. Nice little wall break, and that camp should bring her back in, and it does. He goes ahead and puts down a wizard to take down that other camp. It's time to use the ability, because it's, uh, nope, not yet. He used a rage. It's getting a little bit hairy in there, but he does want to try to save that ability for the end. Or at least as long as he can. So now you can see that she's just going to go ahead and walk around there, and as she walks in here... You know, she has access to all of those buildings um, on both sides. So taking down the eagle will be a huge score. And I know that that's one thing that they wanted to do. Make sure to take that down. And this is a little bit different type of attack than uh, what Chief normally does. He um, has been using the Dirty P.E.K.K.A. quite a bit on these types of bases. But they knew that they could get most of the ADs down. So why not try some uh, clone loon action? Does he have the clone? He doesn't even have the clone. Well, why not try Lalo then? <laughs> Here he is. It was a late, a late night and a long day yesterday, but I'm, I'm, I am making it. There he goes. He had the rage skelly for the queen, so the, that level fifty queen just getting hammered by those skellies. Meanwhile, his queen's still up. Uh, he's got plenty of loons. Let's see if they can all get down through those Teslas. It's looking good, folks. Great job. Love this attack, Chief. Good job. So, once again, victory. Couldn't be happier. I'm really proud of everybody. Again, we've worked well this whole season. This last war, though, was really unbelievable um, how everybody worked together. So, uh, super proud of everyone. We have one more week. I believe this victory um, actually sealed the uh, playoffs for us and the division. So we do have one more week, though, and then we'll take a break and get ready for the playoffs. So let's uh, enjoy the week off, Rhinos, and get ready, uh, you know, rest up a couple days before we uh, have our next, next CWL war. Good job. As always, uh, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the, the attacks. And we will have more for you if you would like to be a rhino. You can also find the information down in the link below. So I hope to see you again soon. That is it. I'm going to go ahead and get back to my weekend. Peace.